One of the problems being a sleight of hand magician is you always have people going, you got fast hands, it's all fast hands, I bet you it's fast hands, you got fast hands. Screw that. That's right, Jay gets tough. This is the slowest piece of magic I do. Watch as carefully as you want, Maya. You still going to get fried. Here we go. Look. Take a look at that. What's that look like to you? A gold key. Nice. It's actually brass, but it does look like a gold key. Along with this, I'm also going to use a coin. Back for nickel. No. Do, you have, do, you have a, do you have a nickel? Now, I'm only going to borrow a nickel because I haven't done this many times. And if I screw it up, I don't want to have vanishes. I don't want to have to owe you a quarter or something. Okay, so a nickel. Okay. Now, here we go. Look. Look, both my hands. What you have to do is make a choice between the two. Do you want me to remove, actually, name one, either the nickel or the key. doesn't matter. N nickel or key? Key. Key. That's the one we'll use then. I'm going to leave the key in the fist and take out the nickel. Don't take your eyes off the nickel. Just squeeze and the nickel now becomes the key. And of course, over here is now the nickel. Now, I know that's pretty strange, but even stranger is I'm going to do it again. I'm going to reach inside and remove one of the two objects. Let's say this time, I'll remove the nickel. I'm going to put the nickel inside my pocket. Hold them, it must be three, three feet apart, just to squeeze, just like that. Shut up. And with any luck now, there is once again the key. And there is the nickel. And the wild thing is that both objects can be completely empty. Thank you so much for